Hello, this is Seth Winning and welcome to a recipe. Uh, today I'm going to make canola pulled pork. Now, there are a few ingredients in canola pulled pork. You've got your sea salt, you got your liquid smoke, you've got pork. Now, the recipe I have is for making pork in the oven, but you can also make it in a crock pot. Here's what you do. Take the pork butt and score the pork butt over all over and place in a container. Rub the pork butt all over with your two tablespoons of liquid smoke and two tablespoons of kosher salt. What I did was I created a mix in a Tupperware type container and then I just use my hands to rub the salt liquid smoke combination all over the pork butt. Then I place the pork butt into the rock pot and then I turn it on high for about an hour. After I turn it on high for about an hour, I turn it on low. Since it takes about seven hours to make canoe pork, you have to you have to turn the clock back on high for an hour and then low for the remainder of the time. High for one hour, low for six or seven. And when it gets to be around half an hour before you take the pork out, you put in the Swiss chard or whatever. Because the normal recipe calls for you to put the tea leaves all over the bottom of the crock pot and put the pork on top of it. But you don't need to do that because if you cook the Swiss chard, tea leaves are much more robust than like Swiss chard or spinach. It's been a couple of hours. <laughs> And now it's time to put the uh, bean greens. I said Swiss chard, but maybe the bean greens. Time to put that into the pot. It's going to spend half an hour in the pot and then and then it's going to be time to eat the last and the oh my god there you go this is really really good by itself it's traditional Hawaiian cuisine that you would get at a little while a little while being a traditional Hawaiian dinner that everyone strives to get when they're in Hawaii. Get your canoe pig, your poi, your nomi omi salmon. Out of drumming, sometimes they serve corn there in modern new house. Sometimes they go <laughs> all the way to serve a uh, microni and potato salad. And just Depends on how traditional they're making it. It's beautiful, delicious looking pork. It's very salty and creamy, meaty flavor, and it lends itself to the recipes too, like Antronis or Quesadilla. My brother and his wife make canoe pig quesadillas all the time and any pork dish or chicken dish you can add canoe pig and it will be so oh no oh no it's the word for delicious in Hawaiian 
At my house, we use it all night. Well, I don't have so I don't know, you know, uh, that way. You know, I already had some mono pizza last night. If you're from Hawaii, you talk like that, probably. Everyone I know from Hawaii talks like that. My family, my mom is from Hawaii. All my cousins, my grandma, and grandpa, my aunts and uncles, they all talk like that. If you make this, it's really simple. And you'll be in for a treat because you can have it in a normal Hawaiian way with spinach Swiss chard because you can't get tea leaves around here, but you can substitute. It's really very good. I'm going to make it in a pork poultry with a little, maybe Asian plum sauce on it. Maybe uh, some kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean pickle. I'm doing this because I don't really like pulled pork. And the way it always is, it's got one note sweet. It always is sweet. And when I was in Alabama eating Alabama barbecue, every sauce they had, uh, no matter what it was, mustard sauce, original sauce, it was good, but it was all sweet. Now, I'm used to having some sauce with a savory flavor, so I'm thinking about pulled pork because it's a universal uh, meal, and I'm thinking wine pulled pork would be awesome. You know, if we use the plum sauce too, or a uh, general dal sauce, or whatever you want. Uh, Maybe not to show you sauce because that would be overly salty. Maybe I'll try that, but I think it would be overly salty. So if you like this video, click like, subscribe, hit my bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the kitchen. <laughs>